Welcome back to this session on setting the building properties in the project tree. So in this session, we'll set the building properties, which allow us to determine things like the building type and some basic dimensions and proportions of the building. So again, I'm going to go up to the building on the tree and I'll right click. And again, I'm going to select the properties. So again, we could give this building a name. I'm going to use office building. Now there is an option here to, to indicate that the building is a high rise. That would actually refer to any building that is greater than three stories. Our building happens to be just three stories, so we will leave that checked off. Our building type here, you can see we have a number of different SIBSI building types. Of course, we're going to be SIBSI office. And then we could put in additional information such as the address of the building, the engineer, the client, the owner. This is data that would ultimately show up in the reports that you run. So let's just go ahead and put your name in as the engineer and maybe give yourself a title. And you could fill in any additional information. Next, we'll add some information on the dimensions of the building. So we're going to set the orientation to zero. Now this orientation, adjusting this number would change our north direction here. So we can always come back and make those adjustments later if we want to change the orientation of our building. Now we're gonna put the total height of the building in as 24 meters. Our length to width ratio is going to be 1.75. For the surrounding angle, we're just going to leave that at zero. And we're gonna set the window area to 85%. And that refers to when we put a, a, a surface on our 3D model that will indicate the windows, we're basically saying that 85% of that is glass and the other 15% is frame. The occupancy of the building will set at five days, being an office building. It's basically Monday through Friday. And then we have cooling plant times on and off, and we're just going to stay with the defaults. And then our optimal inside temperature, which we've got set to 22 and a half degrees. Note there's also a, an economics tab where we can set things like fuel factors to be considered and any cost tariffs based on our local conditions. We'll just, again, leave the defaults. I'm going to select Apply and select OK. And now we have our basic building properties set. In the next video, we'll start adding the, the floors and, and begin our 3D model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.